probably the best method for determining the maximum altitude to request on the airspace authorization form is to use the UAS facility maps. These maps are available on the FAA's ArcGIS website. You can access a link at faa.gov UAS or you can type in uas-faa.opendata.arcgis.com into your web browser. Once you arrive at the ArcGIS site, scroll down to the bottom where it says see FAA UAS data on a map and click the blue open button. Once the map loads, you can see it's a moving map of the entire country and you can zoom all the way down to your general location, individual streets, or better yet, you can just search a specific address you plan on operating around and the map will place a dot right at that specific location for you. Now take notice of the bottom left part of the screen. You'll see GPS coordinates. Next to those is a little plus sign. If you click that, it allows you to drop a pin anywhere on the map and it'll give you an exact readout of the latitude and longitude for that location. If you live close enough to an airport with controlled airspace to the surface, you'll see these grids around them and they have numerical values within the boxes. These grids are roughly one minute of latitude by one minute of longitude or 600 acres. The numerical value in each box is the maximum altitude above ground level that can be approved by FAA headquarters without further coordination with an individual air traffic facility. Okay, so what does all that mean? Simply put, air traffic facilities conducted a study of their local airspace and determined UAS operating in that grid below that altitude will have limited impact on their air traffic operations. Ultimately, if you can operate below that number and assuming all other data submitted in the airspace authorization and or waiver form is correct, then the FAA headquarters can approve your request without any more coordination with the individual facility. But what if you need to fly higher than the number listed? And maybe there's a zero in that individual box. Hey, that's no big deal. It just means that a discussion with the individual facility needs to occur before anything can be approved. The facility may want to see extra precautions or mitigations before they are comfortable with operations in those areas. Just a word of caution though, operating near an airport presents complex challenges and safety issues, and sometimes no will be the answer. Please remember that this is a safety decision for everyone around you, both on the ground and in the air. The best way to guarantee a successful application is to only ask for what you need to accomplish your operation. Happy flying!